What's going on, birthday boys? I am your host, Eric Biggs, as always, and next to me, the one, the only, the facetious, <laughs> the malicious, the Mexican with the besticans, <laughs> <laughs> JP! Pew, pew, pew. <clears throat> what is up, buddy? <sighs> Just living tall. Yeah, living tall sock, bro. Yeah, big I got, big high sock life. I got made fun of it by a chicky this week, man. Yeah, and, yep. And did I think it's time me and the TS community really come together and the T? What is the T? Tall sock community oh. guy. I was like, is this a new trans version? <laughs> <laughs> the new trans variant. I'm <laughs> trans for tall socks. If you need trans- me to be dog, I don't know. I don't care, dude. I'm... He'll wear low socks one day, no socks the next, and tall socks after that. <laughs> yeah. Fucking, <laughs> they're even black. What's up? <laughs> <laughs> That's called inclusivity. <laughs> you know, there was one weird thing, dude, about yeah. socks. Like, I'm a weird guy. I have all these, like, neurotic things about yeah. touch and stuff like that. But yeah. it almost makes me throw up when I see somebody with jeans on without any socks on. Like, that feeling of that uh, little edge of jeans, yeah. like, hitting. Oh, my God, dude. Like, yeah. it's, I can't be around it, dog. I yeah. I am a big believer in I shouldn't see a grown man's feet. I like that. Yeah. I like think. I, you know, it a grown man wearing flip flops in public. If we're not at a pool, you should probably be in prison. <laughs> like you call a psych ward. Yeah, yeah, you probably touch kids. You're a piece <laughs> of shit. Because if you're inflicting that kind of damage on just bystanders, the public <laughs> for no good fucking reason, or like, oh, what? I like to have my toes out, homo. <laughs> fucking, what are we talking about? <laughs> what if you have to do anything? Fucking, you're gonna be in flip flops like a fucking dipshit. Yeah. Like, it very much it angers me. You're like a foot Hitler or something. Yeah. <laughs> Surprise! I want more shoes. <laughs> we need more shoes. <laughs> more shoes. <laughs> there we go. Yeah. Keep but them. how how was the wedding, dog? It was good. I am married. Fucking look at that, dude. Oh my god. You finally fucking did it, bro. I always oh knew you God. could do it. Yeah. I say I was thinking at this point there was a decent amount of our audience that might have just been like, I think this is a long pit. <laughs> <laughs> just like, oh, I'm getting married soon. Any day now. Again, no, it was, uh, it's fun. Getting married is cool. Like, the overall process is, you know, long and annoying. But, like, <laughs> the day itself is fucking, it's cool. Yeah? Yeah, like, everyone's, like, tells you you look nice. Okay. They just lie to you. That's cool. Did you have, yeah, like, I don't even know how weddings work. It's been so long since I've been to one, but did you have like, is it a morning thing or a night thing and you party afterwards? Or? So uh, we got married Catholic. So it was like, we got, the wedding was at like one. And then uh, we got done with the wedding at like two. So I was like a fucking hour. And then you do photos and we like went to a bar, like me and her and like the whole wedding party. We like went to this bar, like took photos of the bar, drank at the bar. After we were, like going around doing photos, uh, then we went to the venue, and we the like reception started at like five thirty. The reception is the, like, like the after actual... party. Oh, okay, okay that's okay. like the after party where like best man speeches happen and the first dance and the all that kind of stuff. Mm-hmm. So you eat dinner, feed people, all that. So like. Then that started like five or five thirty, and then we had to be out of our place at that the venue at like eleven, and we didn't end up getting out until like twelve. But so like, you know, you have like five hours of like good partying, sweet, and it's like picking up, cleaning, all that kind of shit. Yeah. So, but it was a good time. It was very nice. It was a uh, we had a big wedding party. There was, I had. I think six groomsmen and she had f- five bridesmaids. So it was like 13 of us in total. So it was a lot of fucking people just like getting fucked up and having a good time. So like mm-hmm. that was cool. Um, but yeah. Yes. Yeah, so, and also like I was the dude. So the day before or the night before I stayed up till five in the morning getting hammered, drinking mm. whiskey. Whoa. Like, uh, have you ever heard of whistle pig? Yeah. So me, my one older cousin, and one of my groomsmen stayed up till 5 a.m. and drank an entire bottle of Whistle Pig, just the three of us. And then at 5 in the morning, my cousin goes, bro, you need to go to fucking bed. You're getting married in like 
five fucking hours. <laughs> He's like, you have to be like a functioning person pretty fucking soon. And I was like, good plan. And then I woke up and like we had all planned like, oh, we're going to get up, go eat breakfast and then like meet like we were all over like the Airbnb me and her rented. So he's like, uh, oh, like groomsmen are going to be there in the morning. We're going to go get breakfast, then like come back, hang out, get dressed, go over to the church, all that. At like 730 in the morning, my buddy's like waking me up and he's like, hey, bro. Oh, my God. uh, Hey, bro. He's like, it's time to go get breakfast. And I was like. Fuck you. I uh, I didn't go to bed till 5 a.m. And he goes, oh, fuck. Yeah, go back to bed. <laughs> and he just, like, walks out of the room. But then we had a, a whole fandango I had to deal with, like, first thing in the morning. So I was, like, check my phone. I have, like, s- fucking seven missed calls and a bunch of text messages. Like, you need to do this. You need to do that. You got to do that. And I was just like, fuck it. I'm up. So I, like, handled that. And then we went and fucking got breakfast, came back, showered. And I was like, okay, I am not hammered. <laughs> it's time to go get married and start drinking again. <laughs> All right, well, so, I got to do this a whole marriage thing yeah. for a second, boys. But, Here we uh... go. Like, it was so bad. Like, we got to the church at, like, 12. My buddy, the, one of the other groomsmen that was stayed up all night drinking whiskey, gets out of the truck before the wedding has even happened, gets out of the truck, goes over, pukes in the parking lot. <laughs> and I'm like, bro, we haven't, we haven't even fucking started drinking yet today. And he's like, yeah, but we drank an entire bottle of 100 proof whiskey last night. <laughs> and I was like, that's fair. That's a good point, I guess. <laughs> Stayed up till five in the morning, just ripping cigs and fucking drinking whiskey all night. Damn, bro. And then I was like, "All right, go get married. <laughs> go stand on your feet all day. Dress shoes suck. Also, I don't know why it's a requirement of dress shoes for them just to be fucking dog shit. Like, why can't they just be comfortable? Yeah. Like, can sneaker not make or uh yeah? What is it? New Balance? Can New Balance not just make a fucking dress shoe? <laughs> for the love of God? Like, every one of them, they're like, oh, this is imported from Italy. And you're like, it's dog shit. <laughs> it makes my feet hurt. Yeah. Well, maybe they make them so that you can't run away from the wedding. Or oh, <laughs> that... Yeah, they're like big business deals, weddings. They don't want you get escaping. They want you to slip. Yeah. Fucking, like, he won't make it far. Yeah. <laughs> He's in fancy dress shoes. Mm-hmm. He'll never walk out of here alive. <laughs> well, that's great, man. Yeah. I'm, I'm happy did, uh, to hear. Did me getting married set you in any state of doom about not being not being married? or? Well, it's been a while since we've had time to talk, dude. Yeah. But um, I'm, I'm actually super happy to announce that I'm falling for someone. It's oh. a beautiful baddie. Yeah. And his name's JP. All right. <laughs> See him in the mirror every morning. Yeah. We both like to drink. We both play Rocket League. Wings all fucking week. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. No. I, he I, never I, turns down sex for you. Like, ex- <laughs> he likes you know all the, he likes all the same porn you like. Isn't that cool? Yeah. <laughs> Just two kindred spirits. <laughs> so yeah, that's yeah. been going all right. You know. Yeah. But, yeah, that's fair. Yeah. Falling, sure. you know, falling for the old japes. It, yeah. it feels good. Yeah, it feels good learning yeah. more. Do you just like set up a mirror whenever you eat pluckers <laughs> by yourself? And you're just like, look at you, you dirty bitch. You fucking got sauce on your face. <laughs> Nasty whore, you. <laughs> you, you little skank. <laughs> Is that ranch? Ooh. Yeah, no, that's why I take my iPad with me every time to pluckers and just put on like the... The the FaceTime camera, camera, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Someone's like, oh, I guess he has a twin. No. (laughs) Nope, that's me. (laughs) That's all me, baby. (laughs) Could you imagine how terrifying it would be if you were like a waiter and you walk up to a table and a guy just has... (laughs) It's FaceTiming himself. (laughs) He's just having a cut and you're just like... Oh, God damn it. <laughs> I should try it, dude. I am into, like, doing weird shit out in public, dude. I always hear you and other comedians oh, be God. like, I, I limit my bits to, like, I guess stand-up and shit, but yeah. I'm out in the world doing wacky shit yeah. all fucking day, dog. Like, it's the only time I have to test shit, bro, <laughs> you know? So, 
I'm becoming more this, open to that kind of like goofy shit on just my own. Just Applebee's is just like this guy again. This guy. <laughs> Not again. Right? <laughs> the Reds want Pablo every time. <laughs> you just bring a fucking mariachi band in and they're like, wow, it's Tuesday. <laughs> Tuesday's his day to be here. Right? <laughs> they just have to get fucking restraining orders against you. Like, please stop spending money. <laughs> I've been saving money, dude. Yeah. I've uh, I've been wanting to have some extra money and I've... I went looking at my expenses. Yeah. DoorDash is killing me, dude. I, I'm actually, oh, I use yeah. Uber Eats, but because they, they send me these fucking deals every day, 50% off of yeah. these places, and it's like some cool places that I actually want. Yeah. But then you get to the last page, and there's other t- fees and taxes, and it's yeah. like $10. And I'm like, yeah. what? Like, you got to tell me what this is for a little bit, just putting other fees and shit on yeah. there. This is my peeve of the week, I guess, or something yeah. like this. Dude, I don't, yeah, I don't use, uh, I don't fucking let people deliver shit. Like, food-wise, like, if I order a pizza, I'm probably going to pick it up. Really? Yeah. Cause they, is it, like, an uncleanly thing from no, the dr- it's just, driver? No, they or? charge so much, yeah. and I'm a fucking cheap bitch. <laughs> we, whenever we were decorating the wedding venue, I ordered 10 pizzas. <laughs> because there was, you know... 40 people there like helping decorate and set stuff up and whatever and i was like oh i'm gonna just buy pizza and feed everybody and uh they were like oh is it like pick up you know delivery whatever and i was like oh you know let's go pick it up and then i just like made one of my buddy's girlfriends go get it i was like (laughs) i was like hey can you go pick up the pizza and she's like, uh, sure, whatever. And then a bunch of guys, my buddies over there, they're like, I need smokes, I need chew, I need fucking beer while you're out. So fucking like an army of them went to go pick up these pizzas and come back. But yeah, I say like, because I was like, oh, either like I'll just go do it or I'll have somebody else go do it because you got to pay them so fucking much. Yep. Because that's it. I ordered 10 pizzas from Domino's. Large is single topping though mm-hmm. uh, for 70 bucks. All right. So it was like seven dollars a pizza. I'm like fucking fuck yeah. Turn up, because usually <coughs> delivery is a percentage thing. I think it's not like a flat fee. I don't think. I think some places are like that. Yeah. yeah. I'm not. I'm, yeah. But yeah. Anyway, fuck delivery. Yeah. It's DiGiorno. <laughs> <laughs> Our new sponsors, by the way. Uh... DiGiorno. Yeah. <laughs> DiGiorno pizza. <laughs> Do you want to make make something that's not quite as good? In your own house, because you're drunk late at night, <laughs> you degenerate, fat, slobby bitch. Well, don't worry. Delivery's already not an option. You're poor. <laughs> Eat a DiGiorno pizza. Yeah. It's frozen. Let me have a take of this. Yeah. DiGiorno. <laughs> Meh. <laughs> DiGiorno. What else is there for you? <laughs> It's better than Tony's. <laughs> yeah. But the thing is, why I've been getting deliveries, dude, is like, okay, um, I've been working out a lot, man. I worked out for two hours yesterday, and I get home, and I'm so fucking hungry and tired and angry. Yeah. So I'll order some shit, and then I'll be like, since I'm getting delivered, let me get like maybe two meals or three meals uh, and all this yeah. shit. So instead of going to H-E-B and getting like a week's worth of groceries, I spend 70 fucking dollars on burritos just so I could yeah. have them. You know what I mean? Yeah. And then they're it's, not even as good. Yeah. No, you can't. Oh, yeah. yeah like no. so much food, if you warm it up, is like, eh. Yeah. 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 Definitely, man. Yeah. Especially like depending on how you're doing it. You know, if you're like getting out, if you're cook, turning up the oven and spending 30 minutes and re stuff and... Taking out all the cold parts because you yeah. can't. The burritos I've been getting from Taco Palenka have yeah. like lettuce and tomato in them. Yeah. Fold it in. You can't reheat that in there. No. You know what I mean? That's fucking rubbery and gross. Yeah. What you want? Cooked tomato in your burrito? That's disgusting. Yeah. I'm yeah. Not, I'm not gonna deal with that shit, dog. You know yeah. what I mean? <laughs> but I will say, I hop the morning before the wedding. Mm-hmm. Hit it in a special way. I have not eaten an I hop in quite a while. It was there for me. IHOP said, you know what you need? You young little baby boy. Young spring chicken. You you young, soon to be married, degenerate alcoholic. <laughs> <laughs> it said, you come here. 
And you eat this uh, wild packed Western bacon omelet, and it was so good that like I, me, uh, my my one cousin and my now brother in law got there first, and we were like waiting for all the other guys. We went ahead and ordered. All the guys came in, saw my food, and said, "I'm getting that." That looks fantastic. And like everyone else ordered the same thing. Yeah. And they're like, this is the best fucking thing ever. It was so delicious. You can't go wrong with a place that just injects bacon in everything. You yeah. know what I mean? Like, that's a winner yeah. every time. The good old American way. Yeah. Like, you know, Crisis King. You know? <laughs> <laughs> bacon pancakes. They've yeah. made bacon pancakes in the past. I, I don't believe know if, that. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they. I don't think I ate them, but they sound, that sounds right. Yeah, it sounds beautiful, man. It sounds, yeah. like, it sounds like a winner in my book, yeah. dog. I'm pretty sure they've had a bacon shake as well. That might be too far. I, I'm, I, <laughs> that might be too far. <laughs> comment below if you've ever had a bacon shake. Bro. Yeah. Well, you're, how do you feel about chicken and waffles? Oh, man, I need to give it another shot because I, I, I might have told you about this. I ordered it one time, and they brought it with hot sauce on it or wing sauce on it. Yeah. And it totally fucked it yeah, up. Yeah, you told me about Yeah, you got to have syrup just, and wing sauce? Yeah, you got to have just fried chicken. Yeah, that sounds good. That way, because it's just crispy and then sweet. Dude. I can, okay, d- did you eat it with honey or syrup? Um, I think. I think honey would work I think well. it was both. Oh, uh, okay. But it was mostly syrup. Uh, and I had, the last time I had it was actually at the Honky Bucket. And it was uh, like a big chicken breast that was like breaded and f- deep fried and then French toast. Damn. No, that sounds legit. It was, yeah. it was pretty tits. I yeah. was like, this is why I'm fat. <laughs> I was like, this works. This works for me. Yeah. I know we have a lot on the agenda today. We do. But we do. I did want to talk about bring up the steak thing with, oh, with our yeah. audience. Because I think this is a funny thing. Um, yeah. I'm a Texas boy. 40 years been in Texas. You know what I mean? Yeah. I know this land like the back of my hand, dog. You know what I mean? <laughs> I'm, you know, I'm raised on beef. You know what I mean? Just a beefy boy. You know what I'm saying? Beef enchiladas. <laughs> <laughs> I do like those. Yes, I do. But, um, so, Eric, want, you, do you care if you explain like the whole fat on the steak thing? Yeah. Yeah. Say the best steak, in my opinion, is a ribeye. Okay. I, I, I'm on the same page with you. If I'm eating with somebody else who's also having a ribeye, and, like, I know them well. Like, if you did it, if Valerie did it, like, one of my buddies did it, if they just, like, cut all the fat <laughs> off their steak and just threw it to the side, like, uncultured swine, <laughs> yeah. I will say, are you going to eat that? And if they say no, I will say, then I'm going to eat that. And if they don't act weird about it, I will take it off their plate and eat it. Yeah, that's delicious. Fucking foreign to me, dude. Yeah. But I will say, King of the Hill is one of my favorite like shows, and I saw that in an episode. Bobby didn't want to eat it, yeah. but Hanks loved it apparently. Yeah, and I thought it was just like a, I'm a man. I'm gonna like eat this no. shit that I don't like. But you enjoy it, is no, what you're it's saying. Delicious. If wow. you cook a steak right, the fat is so good. I'm cutting all of that shit off, guys. Where, You're a coward. Where are you guys on this? You know what I mean? Comment yeah. below, cause I, I think okay. I used to feed. I used to save that stuff for my dog, and then I noticed that every time I gave it to him, he had diarrhea. So yeah. I don't think that's for like consumption, dude. Yeah, it is. Fat's good for you, dude. What do you think bacon is? It's literally just pork fat. That's I all don't bacon think is so, made out dude. of, dude. Yeah, bacon is just fat. It's delicious. It's the best thing you've ever put in your mouth. Maybe. I do love bacon. I'm a bacon guy. Bacon boy, yeah. for sure. Yeah, dude. You gotta eat the fat. It's so good. <laughs> eat the fat. That sounds crazy. Yeah. Well, and the, It's gross to me, though. But that, it's cool. What's even better is, it, see, the other thing is, the way you should do it is don't cut your steak, like, with the fat off. Cut it along with, so in your piece of steak it has the fat with it whenever you take a bite you know what i'm saying don't cut like oh if here's the fat cut this way <laughs> so you get the fat with with every bite mm-hmm. or with every yeah edge or like bite. with every like edge yeah 
Wow. Wow. I'm going to fucking level you up. <laughs> I'm going to fucking... It might be with... We should make that a with clogged a... clogged fucking heart mouth. <laughs> but fucking... I will... You'll. It's the shit. I, I, I guess I'm, I'll try it again someday, but... Um, yeah, I'm so hungry now. Yeah. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. We were just like, ooh, tasty foods. <laughs> and then big juicy steaks. Yeah. We did have another segment that we, we've been flirting with, guys. Um, yeah. We're going to be looking at some news and stuff. Yeah. Um, today's is it's gone it's gone pretty viral it's about this tiktok chicky mm-hmm. um she's all tatted up man her face her neck her arms and everything and she applied for a job at tj maxx and okay. you do you want to watch it real quick yeah 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 so you sent it to me so here we'll go on ahead and we'll uh watch your screen right here mm-hmm. and uh sorry me. bobby lee yeah sorry bobby lee you're getting covered by some tiktok whore <laughs> all right so also to be fair, so I, I wanted really to seen this come yet. on here and talk about something that is really starting to annoy me. So I applied for a job at TJ Maxx a few weeks ago, and they denied my application. They couldn't even call me; they just sent me some automated email. First off, yeah, audited automated email. It's how every company works in that <laughs> size. Yeah. You think you're special? <laughs> You think you're so fucking, oh, well, yeah, they broke out the fucking AI to text me. That's what they send everybody. They have a fucking basic bitch bullshit. No, almost no company of that size, whatever they deny you, do they go. Personal, yeah. Oh, hey, this is the exact reason we said no. Also, number two, bitch, you know what you look like. <laughs> you, you know what you're doing. You're being... T- you know TJ Maxx. No one... That fucking nose ring is absurd. I just you have the devil on your neck. Two demon tattoos on her chest. Yeah, like, look, you would do great at the front of a whorehouse or something. <laughs> uh, maybe, maybe like a tattoo shop. You could work in there and you could say, well, I don't want to look like that. You have fucking... What is that on her forehead? The fuck is that? Some, like, headband? You can't just buy a head... Headbands are fucking $3 at Walmart, bitch. This is... Okay, we're gonna keep going. But so far, from everything I've seen... Also, the blacked-out sleeve? Tell me you're just a fucking dipshit. That's all that means. (laughs) This means you got fucking, like, very bad shit tattooed on you as a young child. And then you're like, you know what looks cool? If I just... Don't have any cool art done. Dumb as fuck. Yeah. All right. Any comments this far? Um, I think she's pretty hot. That's what I'd give her. I'm seeing the great tits. Um. Yeah, I mean, the problem is, is if you look like this, she's scary though. She should just be like, uh. Never mind. I'm not gonna <laughs> go there. I was gonna. I was gonna go in maybe too far. Um. <laughs> I'm apprehensive about going to people that work at, like, H-E-B and Walmart because I don't want to come off as annoying. I'd be yeah. apprehensive of coming up to her just because, like, You're probably like, oh, I'm this scared. is the dumbest bitch I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> yeah, man. That'd yeah. be the other thing. If I saw this chick, I'd be like, I couldn't hire you. What am I going to teach you? You have fucking, you have your face tattooed. Yep. Not just, like, her forehead. Her, fa- like, right here. Like, where a dick slapped her in the mouth, there's a fucking tattoo. How dumb are you? And, like, as a person that has tattoos, and do- here's the thing. If you get a bunch of tattoos, you cannot bitch yeah. about people, like, be like, oh, TJ Maxx doesn't want to hurt. Yeah, you're, you're tatted to be a fucking bartender. Yeah. Work at a fucking vape shop. <laughs> a motorcycle shop, some automotive shops, fuck, as long as there's nothing nice in there, a tattoo gallery, you know? Oh, uh, the corporate world will... Well, listen, bitch, you have nothing smart to say. Maybe, like, one of those, like, weird oddity stores. You yeah, know, yeah, like, like a cool, place where you go like in and you're like, movies. wow, are these real heads from babies? <laughs> yeah. 
And she goes, yeah, man. Yeah. Hey, man. Yeah. I killed him myself, man. And then you like go out and you're like, oh, she lives in that El Camino out back. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like also doing this and having leather seats is insane to me. <laughs> Fucking... How how do you not have the wherewithal to not get four fucking face piercings? Like, it literally looks like her... Because she has a piercing here, 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 and here. It's like she was trying to just have, like, a hook spot. <laughs> so she could just, like, rah, to, you know, gobble a bunch of dicks. Whoa. That's insane. That doesn't look good. Tattoos are hot. Piercings are hot. This, not it. There's a limit to you. Yeah. Oh. Uh. Well, and like, also, this is a chick that, like, thought she was really cool at 18. <clears throat> and then at 23, everyone was like, wow, you're this, you know? Yeah. You're complaining because TJ Maxx won't hire you and you're 45. <laughs> that fucking sucks. My my sister has face tattoos. Yeah. And she's a nurse. So that's a weird kind of thing, right? Yeah. Like, she works well, at an ER. How many? Um... Not like that. Man. Not like it's this? Like, no, it's like She doesn't maybe. have the fucking headband? <laughs> no, not she's the Because she's a cool though. biker bitch? Shout out, Lori, if you ever watch these. Uh, yeah. That's fucking... my sister. <laughs> Is, does she have, like, blessed across her cheek or something? <laughs> I think No, I think um, she has the dick slaps as well. Like, oh, okay. <laughs> no, okay, fucking very nice. <laughs> Go JP sister. <laughs> Wild. <laughs> all right, all right. There's still fucking three minutes of this. I've said too much. I might turn back on everything I've said. Also, just for those kids at home. All right, we're going to go again. So I went in today and I was like, so what was the reason I didn't get hired? And she was like, oh, like you just like don't have enough experience. There was candidates that had like more experience than you. And, you know, I asked her if it was about my tattoos, obviously, because I know a lot of places don't like tattoos. She said that wasn't the reason. I don't feel like that's true, but whatever. I'll leave it at that. So whatever. She'll leave it at that. She's not going to sit in her car and make a three and a half minute fucking video <laughs> bitching and complaining about it because she's going to leave it at that. No, you weren't. You knew what you were doing. You went in, you applied for this dumb fucking job no one wants, and also be like, imagine getting rejected by a chick at the bar. And then getting on there and being like, yeah, I know it's because I have glasses, <laughs> but like, I asked her, is it because I have glasses? And she said, no. But I know what it was really about. I'm, there's still two and a half minutes on this video. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And she said, but we're not going to hold on. Look, the fuck are we doing here? Yeah. What are mm -hmm. we doing here? This is dumb as hell. Keep it going, buddy. All it's right. just the, All right. the tip of the iceberg. So. I'm just wondering how, like, teenagers and young adults who haven't had a job before... Because she's 45. Um, how are they supposed to get employed if these places are only hiring people with experience? So, younger people just can't... Well, look, honey. Complaining about not getting hired at TJ Maxx, being 60 years old, and being like, I don't have enough experience... You're an idiot. <laughs> yes, these are jobs for teenagers and children. You are neither of those things. <laughs> I would love to see her application. You know what? Lady who's made bad decisions all your life, please send in your email. Or send in your resume. I would like to go over it. <coughs> and and I, we'd love to have you on the show. Yeah. Maybe. <laughs> if you could piece together seven fucking dollars... <laughs> To find your way to get here. Yeah. Well, and then also, this is such a wild thing to do. To be like, I'm a fucking psychopath. Now I'm going to stand up for the youth of America. How are they supposed to get hired? You brought up a point a second ago, dude. And <laughs> I I hadn't thought of it before. But she's, she's looking for ways to like be a victim. Yes. For victimhood. Yeah. Right? That's all it is. Victimhood yeah. fishing. Yeah, it's That's literally just it. being like, this, is this going to land? No. Oh, all right, is this going to land? No. All right, is this? Oh, wow. She fucking, she's fishing with dynamite. That's what she's doing. Yeah, she's a dumb bitch. Hmm. 
Also, you might be a great lady. Not a great moment. Fucking, not a lot of great, di- you've had a lot of not great moments, if I had to guess. I still think she's hot. But. Well, I mean, <laughs> JP will give you a home, because she probably needs one. She can't get a job at fucking TJ Maxx, bro. We'll start a podcast. What do you say? Come on. Yeah. I don't know. We'll circle back to that. We'll, uh, good. we'll see. Younger people just can't get a job because they haven't worked enough. So, like, they'll deny a 16-year-old a job because they don't have enough work experience. Like, it just doesn't make any sense to me. Oh, my I God. I mean, I do okay with money as is, so I didn't, like, need the job, but... She's no, an OnlyFans model. Why are you getting a job at TJ Maxx? Because she wants this to go viral so people can exactly. find her on OnlyFans. The only fucking reason that she applied for this job... Uh, also, I don't believe she ever applied for the job. Probably. She's a fucking genius is what I'm realizing, dude. That's one way to take this. <laughs> that's, that's one opinion to have about this. This is this is the equivalent of the the lady that pulls out her cell phone and then just starts like harassing young black kids. And she's like... Ah, they attacked me. And they're just like, what the fuck is going on? Because she knows that some fucking morons, look at us morons, are going to sit here and talk about it. Mm-hmm. And then somebody's going to see her gape her asshole online. For 20 bucks a month. For 20 bucks a month. If that. Let's, if that. She just raised her rates. But fucking <laughs> before it was seven. Yeah, yeah. Because that's the thing. She did... If you do all right with money, you're not like, you know what I could do on the side? Work at TJ Maxx. You want to make $7 an hour and fucking have a terrible job? It's one thing. If that's like, you're like, this is what I want to do, that's great. But to go and like, also, once again, she's now being like, man, they wouldn't hire the people with no experience. But then like, but I'm above it because I do fine. I don't need it. I let men fist my ass online. <laughs> okay, we still have almost two full fucking minutes of this. But I would have liked it to have made some extra money so I could pay off my debt quicker. I want you guys to talk about in the comments what it's been like for I know you, you finding a job recently. This. Like if it's been easy or yes. if it's been difficult. And I want to know like what kind of experience you guys have because... I want to see if I'm the only person that's, like, experiencing this right now or not. Yes, you And, you know, I hate that my tattoos are help. such a defining factor for me no, getting a job or not. Like, just because I have tattoos doesn't mean I'm not going to be a good worker. Like the, just... like, the lack of common sense she has is yeah. one of the reasons I'm afraid of white people, dude. Yeah, like, well, and the other thing that's so wild about this is it's saying... I hate that my tattoos are stopping. Saying my tattoos are stopping me makes people think like, oh, they got a little sailor girl over there on their arm. Bitch, you have Satan's skull on your neck and then wrapping up into your mouth. (laughs) Showing guys where to fish hook you at. (laughs) What the fuck are you talking about? You're no, you made lots of bad decisions. Yeah. Well, my tattoos are holding me back. No. <laughs> you, do you know how many shit tattoos she must have already had for an artist, a tattoo artist, that, like, looks like did pretty decent work to be like, yeah, that's fine. You're already this far out. We'll go on ahead. We'll do the hook up to the mouth. Plus, real quick, she's also, like, make trying to make this side point, I feel like, um, I am part of a community that needs to be recognized but yeah, tattoos which, are a choice exactly so that that's what totally like yeah well, breaks and, that for me you know yeah and I mean? also like everyone has tattoos now fucking school teachers yeah. nurses fucking the cop the fucking what tattoos are not stopping it's not the fucking 70s or even yeah, yeah. like the early 2000s <laughs> like Regular tattoos are not stopping anyone. Yep. You're just clearly somebody that walks in. You go, they're not going to show up for work on time. (laughs) They're not going to plan PTO. They didn't plan out their forehead tattoo. (laughs) Fucking, what are we talking about? It's It's like a tree growing up her face. 
it's insane. The tree of wisdom, maybe? Like, not I that. Just, I do not understand that at all. Because quite literally, some of the most smart, intelligent people I've ever met are people with tattoos and piercings. Some of the so most I smart. I could be wrong, but I've seen that, like, in Europe, like, people I've with tattoos and like... piercings can get jobs, like, way easier there. So, why is America not hopped on the bandwagon? Now Sorry it's an America thing. Long... Yeah, and now she's like, well, in Europe, I could... You think that people in fo- those stuck up British fucking dorks are gonna see your dumb ass and be like, oh, bloody good. <laughs> oh, cherry, old chap. Fucking, yeah. we're, we, we did this. The United States was like, fucking have tattoos, fucking do it all. Freedom. The queen, they worship a fucking queen still. Oh, yeah, we're the problem. <laughs> Fuck, oh, yeah. Yeah, we're the ones. We're the people <laughs> that could never. Uh, oh, we don't understand. Yeah. If you go out of Europe like 20 more feet, they'd throw you off of a fucking roof <laughs> for looking like this. They'd be like, you're a fucking witch. Yeah. <laughs> this is a demon. Yeah. And she'd be like, but I got rights. And they'd be like, we don't believe that. Fucking... <laughs> Yeah, Europe, they have it together. Well, fucking, I guarantee you, everyone in, in good old England is sitting there being like, stay there. Thank God she can't afford a plane ticket. Yeah, no, we should ship her over, man, you know what I mean? As a country, I say we yeah. get rid of her, dog. Yeah, I just think you know? this people this stupid should be homeless other places. <laughs> like, fucking, yeah, dude, I a whorehouse should do great. Yeah. She could be there. They'd be like, that's freaky, you know? Yeah, uh, maybe so, we can shift her to Germany or shift yeah, her to Germany. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, say. Getting wild over there, I hear. Yeah, I've heard that they've had centuries of being real wild guys <laughs> over there. Yeah. Uh, yeah, Germany. Yeah. That might be your place. I hear they're really into uh, wild stuff. <laughs> Fucking Jesus Christ. Sorry for the long ranting video, but I just feel like this is something that needs to be talked about. It's so annoying. And for anyone that is looking Mm -hmm. for a job right now that is younger and doesn't have experience, I truly wish you the best of luck because it is very hard out here right now. It's hard in these streets. All right. Well, that was fucking painful. Yeah. Jesus Christ. We might have to rethink this segment because I don't know if Eric's blood pressure can handle it. Yeah. (laughs) Goddamn, dude. Fucking. uh, Can you? I just can't imagine being that fucking arrogant. Yeah. A thinking you matter that fucking much. I know, dude. Cause just, I'm afraid of, for the world, dude. Yeah, just starting off with the fact of being like, well, and they sent me no response to email. That's what companies do. If you worked at anywhere other than like a mom and pop place, they're just going to send you either like, here you got accepted, generic email, or here go kick rocks, generic email. <laughs> mm-hmm. You think their fucking manager has time to sit down and be like, well, Becky, it turns out you like anal fisting too much. <laughs> you tried to molest those 16-year-old boys, and we said no. But also, I still am very keen. It would not surprise me if she never fuck. None of this ever happened. Yeah, that's true, man. I, I, She's kind of like the Taylor Swift of TikTok or something. You yeah, know I mean? yeah, like, say just, but no <laughs> knows talent. Knows how to market herself. Yeah, know? yeah, no talent, no abilities. Just <laughs> got on there as like, I'm a freak. Watch this. <laughs> yeah. Well, well, all right. That was fun for nice. that. Nice. What a dumb, God, dude. Doesn't, it... <sighs> get a fucking skill. Yep. You said she has an OnlyFans? Yeah, I heard she has an OnlyFans. All right, pull it up. <laughs> we got it. Look at that. Oh, wow. Gaping. <laughs> Is that seven That's dicks? Really <laughs> Gapiest gape I've ever seen. Wow. Um, no, no blacks. We see you're inclusive. <laughs> All right. In this economy? <laughs> see, somebody got the job. All right. <laughs> Dude, you also know that those companies must have to, like, try to find and make sure people don't have OnlyFans accounts so fast. Because, like, every other video you see is, like, 
OnlyFans girl gets railed in the back of the McDonald's or whatever. So, you know, they're like, God, we got to just make sure we don't hire one of these bitches that just like wants a uniform so they can get gang banged in the storeroom <laughs> and be like, bah, your mom bought this couch. Yeah, man. Businesses have this whole new level of shit to worry about with yeah. that stuff. Yeah, yeah, it's true. Yeah, bro. they're like, yeah, she might make TikToks in the parking lot. Yeah, nobody wants to see a Long John Silver blowjob. Going yeah. But... <laughs> Hashtag. Talk about inclusivity. <laughs> okay. But, um. Ah. Uh. Moving on, man, I guess, to our last business, yeah. last agenda, whatever. Um, you want to announce it, bro? We're doing the weight loss challenge for one month. We're not doing any of this made-up bullshit. We're not following any trends. We're trendsetters. Exactly. We're doing the birthday boys challenge. Mm-hmm. We're doing a weight loss challenge, guys. Um, four weeks... We're going to be weighing in every fucking week. Yep. At the end of the fucking thing, we have a badass prize. We're only yeah. going to reveal on the last episode. Yeah. but It's going to be a big deal. Stick around. Huge. Um, Tell your grandmother about it. Yeah, this is going to be the event of the summer, all right? Yeah. We're, yeah we're, um, I, I can share real quick how it kind of came about. I had this idea yeah. um, when I walked six miles and the next day I couldn't walk at all. My ankles yeah. were fucked. And I told Eric about it. Yeah. And I got a little, I got a little heat for it. You know what I mean? Yeah. But, you're like, I walk six miles, I can't move anymore. And I go, all right, Grandpa. Because <laughs> also, to be fair, he no. wasn't hiking a mountain for six miles. <laughs> you were walking around a shopping complex, drinking pints. Yeah, fucking probably hammered around just a bunch of like white women shopping for new Lululemon. Yep. <laughs> that they were probably walking around in fucking high heels, <laughs> spending their husband's money all day, to then go curb check a fucking their wheels in their Beamer. And you're like six miles, <laughs> yeah. Six miles. Eric said he could do that no problem. Yeah. So I was like, is this really JP getting old, or is Eric out of touch There's with a chance. with like like fitness and like working out and all that stuff? So I yeah. was like, you know what? Let's fucking put this shit to the test and let's yeah. let's go with old douche yeah. versus fat young, you know what I mean? And that's that's where this whole fucking thing started. Uh, you yeah. Know? <laughs> but yeah, um, yeah uh, we do have four weeks of it. Every week we're gonna have a tinier challenge. We've had we have down in our list um, a walking challenge. That's gonna be where we um we we uh track our steps on apps mm-hmm. and. Um, a winner of that week, every week, at the end of the weeks. Um, that sounds like Trump, right? Every week, at the end of the week. <laughs> the best week. Yeah, the best, <laughs> best week wins. Someone will say <laughs> that I had the best week ever. <laughs> Not just a week. The best life. We got to get him on the show, bro. Yeah, bro? dude, I, I'd be so pumped. I'd yeah, be I'm like, what is up? Wild, what is up, T-Dog? <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to our humble abode. <laughs> oh, this is great. It's fantastic. <laughs> Some would even say the best. <laughs> I mean, I own buildings, and, but this is a building. <laughs> and both of you guys are looking handsome, quite handsome. Very nice. Very fit. I could tell you guys have been putting in the steps. Yeah. I walked in here and I said, wow, what handsome guy. <laughs> yeah. I saw you. Yeah. Handsome. Mexican, still handsome. I could yeah. tell, yeah. You know. Yeah. <laughs> You're not one of them I was talking about, no. I saw you and said I wasn't talking about him. <laughs> I like so, how both of our charm impressions just has been like, huh? <laughs> <laughs> I just kind of like get a little breathier and high yeah. a little bit. <laughs> Trump after peeing on hookers. <laughs> but I will put some like images to help out the explanation. We're going to have yeah. a walking challenge one week. Horse, the basketball game, because I, I love basketball. Yeah. Are you a big basketball guy? I played basketball uh, until... My freshman year. Oh, shit. I played my freshman year, and then after that, I was like, I'm a short white. I have no business <laughs> doing this. I could yeah. do other things. But, yeah, so I, I like basketball. That's badass. I, it's my favorite sport, dude. Um, yeah. yeah. I love that. So we have those two. We have ping pong. Yep. And what was the last one? Uh, cornhole. Cornhole. Yeah, yeah, cornhole. We're really summonsing our, our inner white. 
We uh, have ping pong for Bobby <laughs> Lee, you yeah. know. We uh I guess um I guess yeah, basketball for you. I guess maybe and, the walkings uh, for Mexicans, you know. Like, yeah, yeah they've been walking walk walk into the walking country, over bro, the border yeah. all all the live long day. <laughs> They've been walking on the railroad. <laughs> Sorry, that's Bobby Lee again. Um, <laughs> um, yeah, so I do want to say, though, yeah. that you are going down, Eric. Like, nah. we are buddies and everything. Yeah. And so this is going to be like a pound for pound thing, not a percentage, because yeah. I. We're going to start in two weeks, and I'm going to be gaining some weight. You know, you know how I like to roll. I got the yeah. producer brain, so I'm going to be taking advantage of the time that I have. And over the next few weeks, you're going to see this guy. You're going to see me blow up. But I do know how to cut weight, and I'm not sure Eric does. What's oh. your, give, give me some of your, your ideas, bro. What are you going to be doing, man? Uh, I'm going to be the best. <laughs> I'm going to walk in. I'm going to say, oh. <laughs> uh, well, I'm going to exercise. I'm going to... Maybe cut out the beer again. Okay. Um, we'll see. Are you going to switch over to Dr. Pepper again? Or? Maybe. We'll see. Uh, <laughs> Let's just crown me the winner right now. Yeah. No, nah, <laughs> dude, I got this. I can... See, but also, I have so much more fat to lose than you. I think you're not going to have as much time as you think. Oh. That's really what I'm kind of like betting on. I, 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 that's not yeah. like a me trying to be sneaky. It's trying yeah. to look at people's lives. You work nine to five. You got to be doing your comic shit. Yeah. You know what I mean? You might have like a week or two where you're really dedicated to it, but then I think you're gonna be like, "Fuck, I'm busy." It's yeah. getting in the way of other shit, and yeah. th- maybe this is just JP's week, and I think that's gonna happen. Yeah. However. Yes. I don't, Fuck we'll you, see. JP. Yeah. We'll see. We'll see. <laughs> we'll see. That's the only thing I can really bank on, bro. I think, yeah, say, I think that will be the main thing is whether or not I just get lazy. But due to the severity of our final, whoever wins, yeah, the results you know I mean? could like be... it's it's pretty, it's pretty gruesome. Yeah, absolutely. So, yeah, I don't know. We'll see. And also, I'm gonna make the wife do it with me. That's. That's cool. So I'm going to have help. Yeah, that's pretty... Okay, I didn't know about that. So I'm going to get fat as shit <laughs> for the next week, and then after that... Can... <laughs> Give me one, bro. <laughs> we're going to really... We're going to have a real good week. And then next week, we're going to lay it on you. Maybe I'll put weights in my shoes. <laughs> for the first for the first way in, you're going to be like, God, how are you 300 pounds? <laughs> Just wearing a, a, a weight vest. I'm like, oh. <laughs> oh, nothing. I actually thought of that. <laughs> <laughs> Putting extra shit in my pockets. Yeah. Yeah, yeah so well, we're going we're to have to empty our pockets and try to be wearing a similar, like, thing every week or something. You know? Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah, because trust me, there was, at first I thought we were weighing in today. So I was like, well, I'm wearing boots. I'm wearing jeans. I'm wearing fucking, <laughs> I'm going to wear it all. But, yeah, so we'll wear about the same stuff. It'll, uh, I think we'll be good. Yeah. Yeah. I think so, man. Um, yeah. and one of the big surprise guys that, uh, I just let Eric in on before the show. I wanted to surprise you too with it, but yeah. we are fucking being sponsored by Pluckers, the king of wings, man. So we got hired to make a new slogan for Pluckers. And, you know, yeah. we're going to be trying out some new slogans among these weeks. And yeah, yeah. maybe you can vote or whatever. I mean, we're probably going to go with what we like the most. But, yeah. you know, you can vote or yeah, not. Like or... Pluckers, where the fat's at, you know? <laughs> there you go. Yeah. yeah did you, uh, do you have any uh, off-the-cuff ideas yet for, for our new Pluckers slogan? Um, all the wings... There we go. Something like that, man. Well, you can say it, but I can't. And that's <laughs> that's what we've learned on this episode. <laughs> we'll be right back. Uh... <laughs> we'll keep it right here. <laughs> yeah. Well, hell yeah. I think uh, I look for So next week is just our official weigh-in. And then the week after that is whenever the first challenge is. Because we're already one challenge a week. So uh, watch out, boys and girls. We're getting fucking hot in here. <laughs> You're going to turn on birthday boys in one month and be like, 
Ooh, JP looks the same, but Eric's looking fucking nice. Yeah, what if I just blow up? Like, you know what I mean? You just like, get fat as shit. Yeah, I'm just... That'd be so funny. <laughs> you just get, like, aggressively fat, and yeah. you're just like, I don't know, I hurt my knee the first week, and I just don't give a fuck. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm just like, I'm really into this. <laughs> I'm going to talk about my, my combined uh, bench press, squat, deadlift, weight together. <laughs> Oh yeah, man! Again, what I'm excited, dude. This, this just gets has become the really annoying weightlifting podcast. Yeah. <laughs> and, oh, I saw a guy doing overhead bench the wrong way the other day, and I shit in his mouth. <laughs> <laughs> there was uh, one fu- funny thing, man. It happened yeah. at the gym. Um, I got asked to like um, this kid fucking asked me to spot him while he was bench pressing 325 pounds, dude. God damn. He was like five seven. Didn't look buff at all. Yeah. And I was like, yep, this is the reason it's better to talk shit out, man. Yeah. You would not be able to tell this kid was so fucking strong. <laughs> yeah, it dude. was gross, man. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you're just like, got it. Yeah. <laughs> got it. You'd, you'd kill me. Got it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. What do you think you can bench, man? I don't know, dude. I never was good at fucking bench pressing. Like, I, it was never one of my lifts. Squat was always my thing, as you oh, can tell by my fucking really? thighs. really? Leg guy. Okay. Yeah. I could squat, like, 400 pounds in high school. It was... Shit. It was... Um, but, yeah, say, bench was never really my lift. I think... I don't know. I would say I should be able to do 200 for, like, one rep max. I think I could get it... I think I could get 200 once. Hmm. But... Wow. I don't know that. Because like I, said, I think the last time I bench pressed was with you. Yeah. Whenever we went to the gym that one day, and we were just fucking around benching. And you benched 70 pounds? Yeah, and then I cried <laughs> in your arms. <laughs> in the sauna. <laughs> and then we wept <laughs> together. <laughs> Such a tender moment. It was. I still have the videos on my phone. <laughs> Check out the Patreon. <laughs> but yeah, so... uh Hell yeah. The real competition starts next week. Yep. Cheers to getting fat until next week. Yeah, buddy. Hell yeah, dude. Well, there wasn't much in there, but uh, bye.